Making a difference at a young age, a teenager created a platform that could help scientists more easily develop treatments for cancer, viruses, genetic disorders, and other diseases. Separate Action News reporter Kim Russell spoke to him about how this came about. I get the pleasure of introducing you to a 16 year old from Celine who hasn't even graduated from high school yet, but he met a professor and asked that professor if he could study under him. And now the work he's done is getting him recognized for his potential to save lives. It means so much for them to recognize my work is having some benefit to society. Neil Maudgal is beaming as we talk to him about work he started in 2020. As you know, the first year of the pandemic. We all started hearing a lot about messenger RNA as Moderna and Pfizer work to develop mRNA vaccines. We know that RNA teaches the body how to make proteins that can support your immune system or even treat diseases. Scientists believe understanding RNA structure could unlock cures to cancer, genetic diseases, or even Alzheimer's. You have to have some understanding of the structure. So Neil says he worked with Professor Aaron Frank at the University of Michigan while he was going to high school to develop a platform that predicts the structure of various RNA molecules rapidly with easily available data. You can get some preliminary prediction with pretty high accuracy of what the structure of that molecule looks like. He is sort of everything that we are looking for in a student. Tacey Mosner is the Davidson Fellows Scholarship Director. She says the Davidson Institute wants to support the nation's most gifted students and honored Neil with a $25,000 award for this work. Neil says the work is personal. His grandfather has Alzheimer's a disease he hopes knowledge helps cure. My grandfather is really someone who's been there in my life. He's been with me since, I, since longer than I can remember, and he's someone I'm very close to. So um, I, I think that that is something that's very personal to me as well. Neil still has a lot of studying ahead of him, but he hopes to someday be a medical researcher. In Ann Arbor, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.